Welcome back to another one of my vlogs. In this vlog, I'm gonna be talking about what I'm gonna be building for my next course. So what is the thing that's gonna be up next for YouTube and also for my website, codingwithmitch.com. So my next course topic is gonna to be on push notifications on Android. So basically the goal of this course is to build an app, so something practical, and show you all of the different use cases for notifications. So like whether the app is in the background, whether it's in the foreground, whether the app is closed, all of these different scenarios for showing notifications to the user. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be building a real-time chat application. And there was a lot of sort of unknown in this area. Um, you know, if you've been following me on Twitter or uh, listening to me on Instagram, I didn't really know like the best way to, well, I, I thought I knew the best way, but I didn't know which way you guys would want me to build a real-time chat app. Because there's really two kind of uh, popular options here. Option number one is use Firestore, which in my opinion, is it's fine like firestore is a great product there's definitely nothing wrong with it i like firestore it's just that there's already so much information out there about firestore it's honestly just really easy to build a real-time anything with firestore but like i said uh, the kind of the big thing here is there's already so much information like why why, why would i spend time building an app a real-time chat app with firestore when there's like a hundred others out there already that's kind of the big reason the other reason is firestore can technically get pretty expensive you know the way that they charge is for every single read and write they charge you so with a real-time chat app you can imagine you know even if you optimize your database structure you're going to accue some pretty serious costs because if you have a real-time feed every time there's a new message the users have to append that message every, all of the users that means all of the users have to read that who are connected to that that chat and then scale that to like infinite number of chats this this could get very very expensive so the other option which is the option that i like because it's you know puts you in control of your data it's going to be way less expensive and it's also something new to learn is is sockets so sockets are a way to basically create a real time anything out of uh, like a, a generally a static sort of database. So if you have like a SQLite database, a Postgres database, whatever type of database, it doesn't matter. You can use socket technology or socket protocols to make uh, a, a real-time portion of a website and then we can connect an app to it now there's a number of services that make this easier for developers like socket.io is one of them for example but what i've decided to do is go with django i'm a i'm a if when it comes to web development my favorite web development tool to use is django which is the web development framework for python that's what i build my website on i have a django course where i show you how to build a website how to build a rest api so Django is is kind of like my first love when it comes to web development. So I looked up uh, what kind of Django has in terms of socket technology, and they have they've actually just recently revamped their what they call their channels uh, package, I guess you would call it, and that's that's that has everything to do with sockets. So that's what I'm going to be building in in this course. So that's what I'm going to be using to build the real time chat app in this course. So as for like what this project is going to look like. Picture, you know, Facebook Messenger. I'm going to aim to build something like Facebook Messenger. Obviously, it's not going to have anywhere near the features. It's going to have basically, we're going to build a website, first of all. So let me just clear that up. We're going to build a website. It'll have registration, you know, login, um, all that authentication stuff. Users will be able to change their, probably their email, their username, and their profile picture, just some really basic stuff. And then there's going to be private messages and also chat, like, I guess, public chat areas i'm not i'm you know i'm not really kind of settled on this yet but i definitely want like i want to go to the home screen and there to be a chat that everybody can kind of like log in and join so everybody who's connected to the server can log in and chat um, and then i also want to have to, to have the ability to privately chat people so just like facebook messenger does you know you click you would like add a friend sort of thing and then you could chat with that friend if they accept your friend request that's the kind of thing that i want to build that's sort of the website that i want to build and then we're going to use uh, sockets on android to so i'm going to build an app that you can do all of the same things with so what we'll do is we'll build an android app that it, you know connects with the website and then you can connect to these different chat rooms through sockets and you can real-time chat with your friends and now now that i'm actually saying that out loud there might be some more things i need to do i might have to uh integrate the uh build a rest api for 
authentication from the app since we're going to have to authenticate from the app for, with the website we'll have to be able to add friends so we'll have uh, probably i'll do a rest api for that also so you can like search friends from the app which will then search the website and you can you know send a friend request all that kind of stuff once all of that is built which i know this is going to be a big project but it's going to be a cool worthwhile project and that's the kind of projects that i like to do things that seem difficult but like really cool features lots of stuff going on lots of stuff that you want to know so i realize that's that's a pretty big project so once we do that we'll have kind of we'll have the website we'll be able to log in we'll be able to chat we'll be able to use the app to go in like chat and do all that stuff then we're going to work on notifications because then we have the core app functionality we need to like you know when do users receive notifications like you know if a new chat message comes in should they see a notification whether the app's in the background the foreground all that kind of stuff but that stuff we'll figure out down the line we have a lot of uh, we have a lot of bread to bake so to say i gotta still build the website gotta build the app gotta build the rest api all that kind of stuff so lots lots of things to do by the way i forgot to mention while i was editing this video i was listening to myself and i thought i forgot to mention this thing um if you don't want to learn the web stuff if you don't want to learn the django stuff don't worry when i build this website this development server i'm going to push it to production somewhere just like i did with openapi.xyz so if you only want to learn the Android stuff, you know, building the chat app, connecting with the sockets, doing the push notifications, all that stuff, that'll be totally fine. You won't have to learn the web development stuff. But if you do want to learn the web development stuff, which I suggest you do because, you know, those are great tools. If you can build a website, build a REST API, build uh, use sockets on it, that's like a very powerful skill set for you to have and then build the Android app on top of that. That's a good skill set. But anyway, if you're just an Android developer, you don't care about web development at all. That's fine. I'm going to push this to a public server. So when we build the app, I'll connect it to that public server so you won't have to. But if you do build your own, then you can you can launch your own and build the app to interact with your own. It's going to be totally up to you. So at this point, I'm still very much in the development stages. I'm still trying to figure out uh, sockets and understand socket protocols, all that kind of stuff. So still working on that. But I'll show you what I have so far. You know, I've only been working on it for like two days, but I might as well since I got you here. All right, so here is my development server running. And right away, you know, keep in mind, this is very much in in uh it's not production ready yet this is very much in development so first of all let's do the you know there's a home screen you come and there's a chat here if i try to chat without logging in it's going to tell me that i have to log into chat so if i click log in it takes me to either the login screen or i can you know go up here to register either way i'm not going to show you both i'm just going to just going to log in so if i log in i'm taking back to home now notice this little icon up here changes this changes to my profile picture so if i click on here i can now go to account and here's my kind of basic account stuff I can go to change password or update so if I go update I can change this stuff change this or I can change my profile picture so if I click here I can you know change my picture to whatever and I can also crop this image so this is really cool I'll actually choose one that is an actual image just to kind of show you so if I go to pictures these are all my thumbnail pictures that I take so I'll I'll, I'll choose one of these select an area for cropping i can click x to cancel this process or click the check mark to to allow it and then there you go my my new profile picture anyway so now here's the real-time chat if i was to write something in here uh it will get pasted to the chat room let me actually log in with a different user through inc incognito just so you can see that the chat is actually working so right now i'm not logged in with anybody but i will be able to see the chat because even if you're not logged in you should still be connected to the socket and there you go you can see that mitchell is saying something i can also uh, log in with a different user so i'll log in with uh you know a different user here type a password and now I'm logged in with a different user. Uh, of course, this isn't all done yet, so it didn't, didn't save the chat, but I can now type with Jessica and I can type with Mitch and both of them see it. So that's kind of all I have at this point. You know, like I said, I got a long way to go. We have a lot of features to implement. I need to do private messaging. We need to add like chat rooms of some kind, I think. Um, just kind of the general account stuff is set up. You know, like I said, I've only been working on this for like two days. So yeah, that's uh, that's the plan. Let me know down below what you think of the plan. I think it's a I think it's a good one. I'm not sure if I'm gonna make the Django course paid or I'm gonna make the Django course free. I might make the Django course free and put it on YouTube and then all of the Android stuff I'll put on my website. I'm still kind of up in the air for that, but you know that's what I did with the powerful Android apps course. I did, um, I made the Django course, you know, the build a website with Django free. I made, the, I think I made the REST API 
paid. I can't remember. But then the powerful Android apps course was paid. So um, yeah, let me know in the comments below what you think of my ideas. Uh, like I said, don't take, don't look at this and say this is what it's going to look like. There's still a lot of work to do. But uh, don't forget to leave a like. I need those likes. If you don't like my videos, then people don't get recommended to my videos and they just get lost in YouTube abyss. So make sure that you go down there and click that, click that like button. Uh, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.